Hi. So sometimes I get the question, can I still do my handwritten notes in your system? Like maybe I want to send myself some thank you cards or nice to meet you cards so that I can still handwrite them. I know the system is great for automation, but I want to still do the handwriting thing. So the question, the answer is absolutely yes. So let me go ahead and walk you through how to do some of that. So um, I'm going to go into the design catalog here and we're going to look at a nice to meet you card. So I'm going to go here to the categories section and then pop most popular and then nice to meet you. And then in this case, I'm going to filter to all free designs um, and then we'll just find one that we can use. So let's go ahead and use um, this as the example. So hello, great to meet you. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. When I do, it's going to ask me if I want to in um, add that to my favorites or add the card and actually um, i can do either of those i'm in this case i don't want it to be an automation because i'm going to just edit it so that um, i can add it to my account and then send it to myself so i'm going to go ahead and click on edit here and that is going to uh, open up the editor so that i can edit that card so it's working on that and here it comes so here is the card. It's now opened up in the editor. I don't need to do anything with the front. And then, so I'll just scroll over. That's the top of the card. You can see here, it says inside top. And then I will scroll over one more time. Now, if I did want to put something here, just as a design element, um, you can see this is kind of orangey and it's got some bubbles. If I did want to put something there, I can. Um, I can design something outside of the system or I can choose backgrounds here and add a color or, uh, something of that nature, if that's something I wanted to do. Um, you don't have to do that, but just good for you to know what your options are and that you've got some, a little bit of design element here in within that card. So, and then on the inside, in this case, I don't want anything, right? Cause I'm going to be handwriting my card. So um, I'll go ahead and hit delete on all of that and empty the boxes out. If I change my mind about the back on this, I can go ahead and make it completely blank on the inside. So then now I've scrolled on, on the back of the card and um, I can add my branding to this. And if I don't want this orange on the back, I can take that off or leave it. The options are yours. I'm gonna go ahead and delete it in this scenario. And then if I press the add image or add text, I can add my branding. So in this case, um, I'm gonna go to photos. Now, if you've got your, picture or your logo, all of those things you can go ahead and add. Um, I'll go ahead and get my image in here. And then if it comes up any kind of way uh, where it's cut off, just gonna extend the sides of that. I'll um, make this smaller. This is in the transform button, which has already been chosen here. And that allows me to crop and move things. So I can go ahead and make sure that's centered where I want it. So I'll save that and then I will return to my saved project. So now I can go ahead and send that card to myself. And maybe there are some other cards. Maybe I want some thank yous, which by the way, I have this cute little selection of thank you cards. If this is something you would like for me to share with you in your account, I'm happy to do that. Um, so I'll go ahead and search thank you. And so maybe I want uh, uh, a few of the cards that I just showed you for the thank yous. I would do the same thing. I would go through each one, add my branding, make sure it's blank on the inside and um, add whatever cards I want. There's that hello, great to meet you. So if those are the cards that I wanted to use um, to mail to myself, I'm gonna choose what I want and add it to my cart. And then yes, add them. And once they're in my cart or um, I can go ahead and then choose the quantities that I want. So inside of a pro membership, you're gonna get 50 cards a month for free. So certainly if, you, if that's what you wanna do with your cards, you certainly can. Um, also you can edit these within the system um, as well as you know. So I'll go ahead and choose whatever I want as far as cards and quantity and then go ahead and hit check out. And then I would just send this to myself. So I would put my information in, choose myself and hit checkout. And then 
what will happen is the system as it's calculating everything, it's going to take off the price of the cards based on the membership, the subscription that I'm on. And I'm really um, just paying for postage in this case. So you can see that it's gonna cost bulk shipping 4.93 to get that to me. And then I would just place my order. So then I would have um, um, those blank cards shipped to me so that I can then handwrite my cards. So I hope that helps. And if you have any questions, definitely let me know. I look forward to talking with you. Have a great day.